You know, Linda, it seems like almost everywhere we go, we run into people who have done joy school. Yeah, like we're in Hawaii right now. <laughs> And we run into people all over. And just just, everybody's running up and saying, the... tell us about Joy School. Yeah. I mean, how did it even get here? I mean, that happened when we were in Asia, too. People all over the world have done Joy School. So we thought, we thought two things, actually. Number one, we thought it was about time to revise the Joy School lesson plans. Oh, man, and we have been working hard on that. And we have a lot of help. We have two master Joy School teachers, our daughter-in-law, Asia, and our daughter, Saren as well as a book lady and uh, people who are helping from Australia and people who are really doing a great job of making Joy School 2.0 after all these years. Joy School 2.0. And the other thing you should know is maybe a little about the history of Joy School because it's pretty interesting how it came about. Let's take a little walk along the beach here and let's, let's talk just a little bit about the origin and the brief history of Joy School. So Joy School actually began while we were living in the suburbs of Washington, D.C. And it was kind of a hotbed of preschool activity, wouldn't you say? Well, it was, and we had two little preschoolers. So um, we actually had three. By the time we left, we had a, a three-and-a-half-year-old and a two-year-old and a baby. And we were concerned about having making the most of their childhood. And yet what we kept getting is things like flyers on our front door when we came home from the hospital with our <laughs> second child saying... They must have had the list of new babies being born. They did, I'm sure. <laughs> but it was a little offensive, like, get this child in our preschool or she will never go to Harvard. <laughs> pushy academics, pushy creative things, all kinds of different preschools. And so it begged the question, what is the most important thing to teach little three and four year olds? Is it early reading, early academics, or could it be something else? Well, they certainly were into early academics. I mean, it was so important to teach those kids to read before they went to preschool, even sometimes, but before kindergarten, for sure. And then, you know, to do little square roots by the time they were six, <laughs> and um, they just were so into having the best child, the most educated child, but had the best head start. So we got a group of friends together, and we... They all had preschool children, and we said, what do you think's the most important thing that you could ever teach these preschoolers? And we batted that around for a while and talked about it, and we kind of came to, a, I guess, an obvious conclusion. The most important thing, if you could have a magic wand and teach them anything you wanted, would be to teach those little preschoolers how to be happy, how to find all the joys that are in life. And that's kind of how the concept of Joy School was first born. But all the work was still ahead of us. It was hard work. And actually, we wrote a book about it first called Teaching Your Children Joy and several versions. And then and Surprisingly, we... that became a bestseller. And we, we realized that there were other people who, like us, would rather maybe focus on letting kids have a real childhood and making it a happy childhood instead of pushing them in multiple ways. Right, we wanted to teach them how to be happy. We wanted to teach them how to feel joy. And actually, when we first came up with the word joy school, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's like joy, pie cheesy. in the sky. Who, would, who yeah. wants joy school? What would that be? But we found you could subdivide joy. You could have the, the social joys of being friendly and kind. You could have the, the mental joys of imagination and creativity and of setting goals and so on. You could have the physical joys of the earth and the body. You could have the emotional joys of just getting into a good mood and learning to control your feelings and so on. And we found that you could really subdivide joy. We ended up dividing it into 12 pieces so that there would be one joy for each month of the year. And it's actually, it's so interesting because there are a lot of preschools that teach about the joy of the earth and how wonderful our bodies are and so on, but this is a little different because we don't just teach about how amazing it is, we teach about the real joy of living on the earth and having and bodies that work. And it. And what we learned is that actually joy can be the objective of parents and it can also be the reward it could, because when kids feel a certain kind of joy they want to repeat 
whatever the behavior pattern was that gave them that joy. Yeah. So we'll tell you a little more about that as we walk up to a beautiful waterfall. It's one of our favorites. So anyway, before you knew it, there were joy schools all over the world. I mean, we started with a commercial joy school, which was really run by my mother, Ruth Iyer, who was an early advocate of children's early education and did such a great job of putting all the lesson plans together. But what yeah. caught on, what caught on was not the commercial joy schools, it was the mother's group joy schools. Right, we haven't even really said what the main joy school program is, and that is it's a mother's co-op. It's like three to six moms get together, decide they want to teach their kids themselves the joys of the, uh, the joy of the uh, goal setting and striving and social goals or uh, imagination and creativity and all the wonderful things you want your yeah, little the, children the, to have. The book was a bestseller and people knew from the book that there was something more than the book. There was something called Joy School and so we'd get a lot of inquiries and gradually these lesson plans were put together and then like you said Linda, the beauty of it was it cost next to nothing compared to an expensive commercial school, Joy School or preschool. It was free, almost free, because all the mothers did was purchase the curriculums then they taught it themselves. And what I think mothers liked is they were trusting their best friends to be the other teachers of their children. And also what they liked is that they were the ones that were learning more than the kids because they learned to have real joy when their kids were little and really enjoy that childhood with them. It only comes once, it only lasts a minute. And so Joy School spread throughout the world and we're just gonna stop one more time in a minute and tell you what's happened recently. So if you think this is like a home movie, we're just <laughs> doing this with our cute stick and we do want you to know though that Joy School, now that we've had about 200,000 parents doing this, has now become so much easier in an age of the internet. Well, and you know what the funny thing is, even though the original Joy School is now 30 years old, the principles don't really change. No. I mean, you're still teaching the same joys, but I have to admit, some parts of it were getting a little bit dated. Yeah, like, like dial phones. Dial telephones. <laughs> <laughs> Things like so. that. But, but it really is so easy now because you just come to a, a spot that says click link, and then you click the link and you go to music. It wants of its original fun music. And then click the link and there's the art. It's all colored for you. We used to have to color it in the old days. You know, print it out, color it, and it. Now so it's we, all ready for you. And the great thing is it's now our daughters in their generation that are updating Absolutely. this Joy School and, and reformatting it. And so we call it Joy School 2.0. And it's really available now to a whole new generation of parents and a whole new generation of kids. Right. Parents who weren't even born when it when Joy School originated. And right. I love the fact that it goes on from generation to generation. And starting September 2015, or you know, you can get your lesson plans in August and start planning. Now's the time you're probably thinking about preschool and in the age of homeschooling. You know, it kind of went yeah. out yeah. of fashion for a while. Now everybody's homeschooling their kids. It's so fun to participate with the kids. So even if you would never dare really homeschool your kids, you sure can do it while they're preschoolers. Because again, if you're one of five moms in a mom group, you'll only teach Joy School every fifth week. The other four weeks will be your good friends equipped with this very elaborate lesson plan with all the music and all the art and everything. So everyone becomes a good teacher because the materials are so good. Mm -hmm. There's heaps of things you want your kids to know, honesty, candor, and how to set little goals even when they're little, just for fun. And those kinds of things that really give life a joy. So, there's two places, only two, on the planet Earth that you can get to a school. One is valuesparenting.com, our website that we've had forever, and you can get to Joy School 2.0. And the other one is our daughter's wonderful website, Our Mom. Just powerofmoms.com. It's the same price and the same, very low price, I might add, either place. And you get the materials first if you want, and then you use the materials to go out and recruit your best friends to be in your Joy School group. The nice thing about it is now we have testimonials. So do it, be a joy school at valuesparenting.com or powerofmoms.com. Bye bye.
Harpo, are you in Joy School? Yeah. What's your favorite part in Joy School? Snack time. Oh, nap time? No, snack time. <laughs> oh, snack time. Oh, do you know any songs from Joy School? Oh, boy. I got to Look at me. I have this gun. Do you? It felt in my home and went to my head in the minute or two. Oh, good, good. Now, Elsie, look, you were in Joy School many years ago, right? Mm -hmm. What do you remember about Joy School? I remember when I was when I was at Kamalade House and yeah. we made scone cookies. Oh, that scone looked cookies! Like Earth. And oh. we had a tea party, and we, like, not with real tea. Party. Now sit up so and I can see you a little better. Poke out a little more. There we go. And, um... Who was your teacher we, then? Um, well, for Joy School, we traded off houses every um, time. Yeah, so other moms were your teachers? Uh-huh. Was that kind of fun? All the time. Ah, I see. And what is Joy, anyway? Joy is when you feel very happy and you're just like, you know, like jumping around and you're like, you know, you're just like. Feeling good, huh? Feeling good. Uh, and, oh, what, what are you doing now, Poe? Now, is there anything else you want to say about Joy School since you're in Joy School right now, Poe? Oh, there you go. Look at me, though. So, so what's the best thing about Joy School, Poe? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> Why do you like it so much then? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. Well, we'll talk later. <laughs>